So going back to our finish registration view, remember we have this finish registration function here that we have created, but currently it's empty. So what we want to do in this function is actually to update our current user. So the function we just wrote in our previous lecture is going to be used here. But before we do that, remember here we have name, surname, telephone and address, but our F user object has also a full name. So I'm going to create a constant here, let full name equals name plus empty space plus surname. So we will have our full name now and uh, I can call my update current user with values and here we are going to create our key value pairs. So what we want to update? I want to update my first name so we say k first name and value is going to be my name object here. Then we want to update our k last name and the value is going to be surname. Then we want to update k full name and value is going to be our full name variable we just created. And we want to update k full address and the value is our address which is full, no, it's actually address. And finally we have um, k telephone phone number and value is going to be our telephone here. And what else we need to do here is to switch the onboarding to true because once we update everything we want to have the onboarding to true so we don't have to see this finish registration screen again. So I will say k onboard is true and completion we just hit enter provide the variable name as error and here what we want to do is to check if everything was successful we want to dismiss our login and or finish registration view so our user can go back to our application here so i will say if error is not equals to nil i want to print my error So I will say print error updating user and let's pass our error unwrap this localized description and then I'm going to return because I don't want to continue if there was an error. But if there was no errors here I want to dismiss my view and since we are showing my view in model uh, presentation and in order to dismiss it, our Swift UI requires to access our environment object. And then I'm going to access my presentation mode. And this is going to be a variable called presentation mode. So since we have access to this, I can say my presentation mode so I say self dot presentation mode dot wrapped value dot dismiss and this is going to update our uh, user and it's going to dismiss our view so let's try to see if this is working again we go to our firebase I'm going to refresh this so you can see the values of our user object are empty. Now let's put it here. I'm going to log in with uh, iOS dev school at gmail.com password sign in and it takes me to finish registration and here I'm going to say David Telephone, let's do some number here. Address. And let's click register. 
so you can see it updated all our information and it dismissed our view which takes us to our sign-in view